Yevse, a black and white spaniel, waits patiently as kids gather around to pet him every day. He's part of a dog therapy session in eastern Ukraine where canines help children adjust to a life after war. Yevse is one of 28 dogs at a humanitarian aid centre in Zaporizhia, where children also draw, sing nursery rhymes and receive psychological support. Olga Pivtoratska is a volunteer at the Dr. Doc Therapy Center. It is important for them because the child's psyche is very vulnerable to the war, which is going on right now. They are very anxious because of it. Some children are very scared and we help them to come out of this state of mind. We help them to adapt to the fact that it is quiet here in Zaporizhia, that there are no explosions nothing to remind them of what they went through. Another dog, Melo, has arrived at the same humanitarian center, alongside owner Daniel Savchenko, who traveled hundreds of miles from eastern Ukraine to flee bombardment. So we came with my mother from Berdyansk. Uh, actually, right now there are uh, Russian soldiers and Russian flags all around the city. Uh, we are quite afraid of it, and I would actually go army if, if not my mom because I don't want to let her live without me. Um. Nearby are piles of clothes and other humanitarian aid. Many of the refugees have come from regions further east where the bulk of the fighting between Ukrainian and Russian forces is taking place. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which it calls a special military operation, has killed thousands and displaced millions. Staff say the volunteers look after their children while the parents register before moving on to permanent homes.